I'm learning, I asked the Lord this year, I told, my husband has a green thumb. My, the only thing my husband doesn't do is music, by the way. He's good at everything. And I don't just mean good, I mean excellent. He's very, very excellent at all he does. He's a woodworker. I told the Lord I did not want to marry a musician. I said, I don't want a musician. I cannot do this roller coaster thing. I cannot. I dated musicians. It was not going to work for me. Brian and Jen, Paul and Hannah, yes. Do it. Not my jam. I'm like, get me out of here. I don't, and, and you guys have like guys that really love to work. But I was like... I had this date and deal where I'm like, I need you to do something, not write a song about it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I need you to like, hey, hi, and just not be over in the corner like, she needs, I'm, I can't. I cannot. And my husband does things. He is amazing. He gets things done. And so I said to the Lord, I was like, could you just give me somebody who works with their hands like a carpenter? Somebody who loves to work hard, gets it done. Somebody who will, you know, can pull people out of swirls and just move through it. And he gave me just that. My husband is from Canada. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, Canada. <laughs> Ironically, the two things that I told, like, I, do you just talk to the Lord about everything? I talk to the Lord about everything. And I just assume he wants to hear it. <laughs> Um, maybe that's my problem. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I do, I do just talk to him about everything. It's an open conversation. It's the only way I know how to live. Am I getting creepy with my pants? <laughs> it's going to get worse. Just stick with me. Um, now I, I really, I was hoping we would laugh today because I just think we could take ourselves too seriously sometimes. And, and <laughs> laughter is medicine. Laughter is medicine. The word says that. Joy is our strength. If we lose it, then we're just hooped. So, husband Canadian, oh Canada, we're coming back around. We have a little girl. I'm just sharing some of my life with you. Is this okay? I don't have the need to share something crazy profound with you. The most profound thing I could share with you is my very life. He's everything. This is just my life with him. And um, I was never planning on being a worship leader. Did not plan on that. Did not want to do it. And I didn't kick and scream about it, but it was never even a thought in my mind, like, I want to do this. And I had tons of words about speaking and all this kind of stuff. And then he's like, hey, isn't that awesome? You're going to speak one day, but now you're going to lead worship. And that's what I did for like, you know, until now, it's kind of funny. How often does the Lord put something in your heart and then says, hey, aren't you excited to do this? Good, because now we're doing this. <laughs> Are you so excited? <laughs> Baby girl, I want to put the city of Nashville in your heart. Don't you love it? Can't you wait? Okay, now we're going to Redden. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? He does it all the time. And it feels upside down to us, but it, it's actually just the right side up kingdom. Because <laughs> he knows if he's going to send you over here, he's got to be able to trust you over here. He's got to know that your validation and your, your ego is not, is not going to affect this over here. He's got to know that you're loved that you know who you are, that you're really happy to be wherever he is, that you know that revival is happening wherever you are because his spirit is inside of you. So, <laughs> yeah. It's gonna, it'll be probably a little bit like, you know, I'm gonna pull you back and forth. You gotta stay on top of things to keep with me.